Deb Marine Namibia is the world leader and sets the global benchmark in marine diamond mining. We operate five uniquely fitted vessels, employing cutting-edge technology, each capable of harvesting the sparkling treasures that lie deep below the ocean. Accurate samples are required to ensure that the five vessels mine the resource sustainably. Historically, the sampling function was conducted by chartered vessels. As production increased over the years, it became imperative that the sampling capacity be increased. Knowing the mineral endowment of the mining license area is critical to ensure sustainable mining. In 2008, a project was initiated to acquire a new sampling vessel. It was motivated by the business need to broadly assess and identify potential mineralization for the purpose of mining. Our desired goal is to increase the sampling rate, thereby improving our mining efficiencies. The project was approved by the board for execution in April 2015. Tep Marine Namibia secured funding from two commercial banks to cover 75% of the required 2.3 billion Namibia dollars in the company's biggest transactional deal of 2015. The project was co-funded by Stenemang Namibia and RMB Namibia, whereas the remaining 25% of the project cost came from Dep Marine Namibia. Claven Verft, a modern shipyard based in Ulsteinvik, Norway, after an extensive commercial process, was awarded the contract to construct the sampling vessel. While Norway was the focal point, the vessel building reality was a truly international project, involving companies based in over 15 different countries. Five modules of the vessel hull were constructed in different shipyards in Poland and transported by barge to Norway. Upon their arrival, work began to weld these massive sections together and finalize the vessel's successful construction. The Rolls-Royce main propulsion thrusters were manufactured in Finland and five Wattzilla engines were supplied from Italy. Other major equipment was sourced from all corners of the world. Project management on a multidisciplinary project of this nature is critical. It requires a collaborated effort to deliver on the milestones Deb Marine Namibia partnered with the Beers Marine South Africa for the execution. Michael Curtis, a Namibian engineer, led the project team. The key to the project was successfully managing the build of the vessel in Norway while simultaneously building the mission equipment in Cape Town. The project team focus was on the integrated design and on meeting the schedule to ensure that the vessel's arrival in Cape Town coincided with the completion of the mission equipment. In September 2015, core members of the project team relocated to Norway to manage the relationship with the shipbuilder Clement Werft, ensuring accurate final design, quality and schedule. SS Nyoma is 113 metres in length and has a displacement of 12,000 tonnes. It was a proud moment for Deb Marine Namibia, when on 9 January 2016, the completed vessel was launched off the slipway in Norway. The vessel was named SS Nuyoma, in honor of the founding president of Namibia. After the vessel launch, work continued on the SS Nuyoma, outfitting crew accommodation, the heli deck, and other major facilities. On 29 June 2016, the vessel construction was completed in Norway, and it was officially handed over to Deb Marine Namibia and the Namibian flag was proudly hoisted on deck for the first time. Representatives from the company's management and project team got the opportunity to tour the floating vessel. Deb Marine Namibia directors visited the port of Cape Town, where the sampling system was being constructed as individual units. Construction of the sampling system modules commenced in parallel with the vessel construction, the dense media separation unit. the front end plant, the comminution batch treatment plant, and the recovery module assembly, which contains high-tech x-ray machines and diamond recovery technology. 
in a workshop across town, a major engineering project unfolded. The construction of the massive 650-ton launch and recovery system. Because of its size, careful transport planning was needed to move the system to the quayside. What's more, major lifts involving two cranes were required to position the pieces once on site. This system will be used to raise and lower the sampling tool during operation. In a separate workshop, the highly sophisticated sampling tool system was constructed. It will stay underwater for up to seven days at a time. It is a critical component in meeting the stated goal of increasing the number of samples processed and analyzed. In another engineering workshop, the massive slurry hose reel was manufactured. Due to their size, the sampling tool and slurry hose reel required technically complex moves to deliver these units on site for installation onto the vessel. The SS Nuyoma arrived in Cape Town Harbour on Saturday, 20 August 2016, where the sampling system was now ready to be lifted onto the vessel. The initial major lift was the first tier of the recovery unit block. A specialized heavy lift crane, the second biggest in Southern Africa, was used for the lifts. Weighing 170 tons, the comminution plant was then lifted into position. Followed by the DMS, weighing 80 tons. And the massive slurry hose reel was also carefully maneuvered into position. The front end module was installed next. Another super lift was the five-story 200-ton recovery module positioned near the stern of the vessel. By mid-September, one month after the vessel's arrival in Cape Town, integration was proceeding well and the launch and recovery system was loaded. The final major lift was the sampling tool which was completed under a colorful sunset. By November, integration was complete and final checks and sea trials took place before the SS Nioma set sail for Namibian waters. The MV SS Nioma is the first exploration and sampling vessel owned by Depp Marine Namibia. With this state-of-the-art technology, we are expected to deliver the required sample quota. This will provide the necessary resource information that guides the mining fleet to ensure sustainable mining into the future. SS Nuyoma will be expertly sailed and operated by a crew of 150 highly skilled marine staff, 85% of whom are Namibian citizens. They received extensive training to learn about the new vessel and its installed technologies. The crew participated in skills development training, including safety and environmental standards, to equip them for the challenges of working in the Atlantic One mining license area. Otto Shikongo, Chief Executive Officer of Deb Marine Namibia, tells what the successful completion of this project means for the company. This is a proud moment for Namibia because this is the first time that a Namibian company has commissioned a diamond exploration and sampling vessel from scratch. With a total project cost of 2.3 billion Namibian dollars, this is a huge investment for the company and a national asset for the country at large. The completion of this vessel is just another example of the benefits of the successful public-private partnership between the government of the Republic of Namibia and the Beers. Finally, the SS Nuyoma will enable Deb Marine Namibia to continue its journey to achieve our stated vision of being the global benchmark 
in marine diamond mining and to continue its mission of mining diamonds sustainably for the benefits of all Namibians.